if you don't know me, you might be wondering what the heck I am doing in a kitchen. And to be quite honest, <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing too. But have no fear, I brought in some celebrity expert chefs to help out today. Secretary of Agriculture, Mike Nag, and Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thanks for having us. So you guys, I mean, I know you have a lot of hats that you wear, but I think arguably the most important would be celebrity chef at the Iowa State Fair pork tent. We were just talking about yep. that, the very fact, yes. No doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, no you doubt. even have an apron to prove it with yeah, your name so on personally it. personally branded, etc. courtesy of uh, Iowa Pork. It's outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> well, like everyone, we're pretty bummed that there's no Iowa State Fair this year, but we are bringing the Iowa State Fair to our employees and contractors. And so, as you guys can see over here, every single one of our employees and contractors, so all 1,600 of them, they're going to get a pretty big pork bundle at home, but they might get that wonder what the heck they're supposed to do with all of that meat and so we are here to help them so today you guys are going to be helping me make some pork burgers okay outstanding i can do that all right well let's get started then i'll have you guys uh, start making the patties if you okay. wouldn't mind and then we'll right. head on out to the grill you guys do a lot of grilling at home during the summer or? we do and Absolutely. we have have been especially you Absolutely. know while there were restaurants that were shut down and yep. you couldn't do quite as much as you wanted to do it, yep. was, it was nice to be able to go out to the grill and throw some Iowa pork on, yeah. uh, on the grill and I've feed the family. Yeah, I've, I've, got got we'll see how <laughs> yeah. I've got a teenager at my house, so my yeah, burgers are probably sized. a little bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah, and I think a lot of Iowans have pork, ground pork, especially at home, thanks to the Pass the Pork program, Lieutenant Governor. Tell us a little bit more about how that program has been going. Well, of course, with the uh, pandemic and the sharp increase in unemployment yeah. because of the economic impacts, there have been a lot of Iowans who have been facing food insecurity yeah. who never had to face that before. And so yeah. we've been trying to meet that challenge on on a number of fronts, and, and we're very thankful to Iowa's pork producers and Iowa Select yeah. Farms in particular for donating to the Pass the Pork program. It's a partnership with the Iowa Department of Agriculture where donated pork is uh, processed and, and ground mm -hmm. pork is donated to the Iowa food banks. Right. And, you know, this is all done under the, the Feeding Iowans Task Force mm -hmm. that the lieutenant governor is chairing. And, you know, we've got this great productive agriculture, and we've actually got a surplus on farm, mm -hmm. and then you've got a tremendous need yeah. you know, for food insecure Iowans and so how do we connect those dots and so this is just one of those mm -hmm. very creative ways and now we're really excited too to be able to incorporate in the Iowa State University meat lab is actually doing the processing wow. and so now you've got now you've got that component you've got students involved and so uh, this has just been a great story about even though agriculture is experiencing some tough times folks are still thinking about others. Yeah. Uh, well, this is where we're really blessed to have a third of the nation's pork production, a quarter of the yeah. nation's pork processing, and we're leveraging that even in challenging mm -hmm. times to help those who are in need. Yeah, we've said, uh, I think one of the greatest things about farmers, it is no surprise to any of us, but when we're faced with a challenge, we don't just sit back and wait for something to happen. What do we do? We roll up our sleeves and we get to work. And I think the Pass the Pork program is an example of that. We've had an awesome time participating in that. You know, it's been a challenge for us as well. We were forced to cancel Haul Out Hunger, which is our summer mm -hmm. pork loan donations due to COVID-19. And we know what a valuable resource the food pantry serve in our homegrown Iowa communities and love working with them. So it was just one way to still support those food pantries. So, yeah. all right. Well, let's take a look here. These patties are a little... Those are pretty bad. All right. So, Lieutenant Governor, I see you have some some nice uniform patties here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Secretary oh. Nag. Um, this is teenager. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is mom and dad. Yep. And then these are <laughs> then these are the younger boys in my house. So I love see, it. I mean, that's truly how I prepare a, a burger at my house. <laughs> you know, he doesn't have to ask for seconds that no, we'll go around because he's already got seconds <laughs> right in the patty. That's a pretty good size one there too. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, we're the, using more pork. Then. The bread to meat <laughs> ratio will be different. Hey, we always support more pork. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, I think it's time to take these to the grill. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Ground pork is just wonderful. It has wonderful flavor and wonderful for, for family meals. So we're going to cook these on the grill. Uh, we really usually recommend a medium hot grill and it's going to take about uh, five to six minutes per, uh, per side. we we'll flip them over and we're going to leave. So is there a favorite at home? Any special way that you guys like to prepare them? Well, my family loves pork burgers. In fact, we just had some uh, a couple nights ago. And uh, so I just try not to burn them is really what it comes <laughs> down to. I don't know. There's not a whole lot more to it for me. They're, they're I'm really sure Mike is much better. No, 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 that's much right. more I think of an art for him. You know what? They're quick, too. That's what we like. Yes. I mean, right now, we got, you know, get something on the table for kids. And like you say, five, six minutes per side, boom, boom, you're off and going. Got to have some seasoning though, right? So, 
you know, right. that's maybe that's, that's the trick. Right. It's trying to figure out which is what exactly you put on them. Yeah. You can put your favorite, whatever yeah. your favorite seasoning. We go with like a cookie seasoning uh -huh. or maybe a little Lowry's or something like that's that. Really that kind of adds a little flavor as well. That's perfect. In fact, they so. usually pick up my flavor enhancer at the fair, so I'm going to have to figure out what you to do. I've got to call, uh, call speed and get some cookies. <laughs> yeah. right. Should we check Let's the temperature? Let's check All them right. out here. So again, with ground pork, patties. We're uh, wanting to take them up to 160 degrees. Different yep. than what's on your apron. Yep. The 145 is for uh, pork chops, well muscle cuts, like mm -hmm. pork chops, tenderloin. But with uh, any ground meat, uh, it's the recommended temperature is 160. So how are we doing? We're getting close. All Just right. a couple more minutes, I think we'll be ready. Okay. Welcome back. Those look amazing. So who grilled those? Secretary Nag or Lieutenant Governor? Well, if they look good, I did. <laughs> uh, it was a joint effort. Joint effort. I yeah. think so. I think so. Just like running the state government, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's plate these bad boys. So we've, of course, got some buns here and any fixings. The beauty of a pork burger is you can really kind of uh, do whatever you want to it. So how do you guys prefer your burgers? I like mine with ketchup and mustard and occasionally a couple pickles on there as there well. There you go. Yeah. I'll, put, I'll put a slice of cheese. I like barbecue sauce on my pork burger, but that's right. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Yeah. Like tomato. Well, let's go ahead and plate those. You know, the one thing I miss most about the Iowa State Fair is the time together with our employees. And so I'm just so excited thinking of all of them getting together with their friends and families. You know, although we can't necessarily be together at the Iowa State Fair this year, we're bringing a little bit of that togetherness um, into their homes. So these burgers look amazing. We can't thank you guys enough for joining us for the Iowa State Fair experience. It's been so fun to have you here. Well, thanks for having us, and thanks for all that Iowa Select Farms does for its employees and for the state of Iowa, and especially for those in need as well. Well, thank you guys. And honestly, what would an experience to the Iowa State Fair be without some cookies and milk hey, hey. on the way home? All so right. in addition to a pork there burger, go. we're going to send you guys off with some chocolate chip cookies and ice Ice cold milk, right. one of my favorite things other than pork at the Iowa State Fair. Um, and I think that's a great Iowa Select Farms, Iowa State Fair experience. Thanks for watching, everybody.